Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you the features of Evolution X in Realme X7 Max. So friends, I have flashed Evolution X ROM in my Realme X7 Max recently. So it is a pretty good ROM and I really loved that. So there are some pros, I mean there are some advantages and disadvantages in this particular ROM in Realme X7 Max. So the UI is very good. So as you can see, so these are some of the applications which are pre installed install with the realme x7 max i mean with the evolution x rom so let me just uh, show you the volume toggles here so as you can see you can see these volume toggles here at the right side and uh, let me just show you some of the widgets in this evolution x rom so these are some of the widgets uh, which are uh, available in the evolution x rom in realme x7 max so let me just uh, check on some of the applications so as you can see this is a default uh, uh, camera application it won't be that much good so you can install gcam in this um, rom so it would be great if you just install the gcam application and uh, my device is rooted as you can see because uh, the magisk application is installed by me so here there is a special application which is papers so these are all themes which are related to realme i mean which are related to evolution x rom so you can choose any of the theme to customize your mobile phone it's pretty good and the main thing which i loved is this recorder application so the recorder application will be is very good application so there is uh, a transcript option as well so as you can see here so i'm just speaking and it's giving me the words so let me just uh, try one thing hey pixel how are you so as you can see so i just tried that in a funny way but it's giving a very good uh, response and this application is pretty dope it's really very good so let me just also show you another application which is uh, realme settings so thanks to the developers because we can see this realme settings option in evolution x rom so here this is a smart charging option so you can select the charging limit so it is by default to 95 percent you can just uh, decrease or increase and if you just toggle off it will be disabled and there is also a performance profile mode it's a, a very good option because when, whenever you are playing games so you can just go to the performance mode and the phone will work very good without any lags or jitters in your mobile phone so you can also choose power saving mode in order to get good battery life so right now i choose i have chosen that balanced mode so everything will be fine and let me just open the ambient display gestures so this is wake up on gesture pick up hand wave i mean pulse notification on hand wave so that is a good option and also there is a pocket mode in this so this is one more option which is enable usb otg so these are two different applications one is papers and other is realme settings in this mobile phone and this recorder option is pretty dope so let me just open the settings and show you what are all the options we are having so these are some kind of different i mean similar settings let let, let me just open uh, the display so this is the dark theme uh, you can choose the dark theme in your mobile phone in this room and let me just open styles and wallpaper let me click on wallpaper here so these are uh, some of the wallpapers so it is as you can see this is the live wallpaper which are pre-installed and these are some of the live uh, universe wallpaper and these are some of the other wallpapers which are available in this room so let me just uh, check others as well okay also you can choose the multiple styles here as you can see there are different styles so you can choose any of the one which you mostly like and also there is an option called grid so uh, it will just uh, uh, show you how many applications i mean how many application icons should be on that grid so this is the best uh, option here we are getting in this evolution x rom so uh, let me just tell you one thing friends so in this particular rom evolution x rom in realme x7 max so it's very good but 
I found it on here. So whenever I'm charging my device, the device is getting a bit heated. So it's heating, but uh, we can just manage that. There won't be any issues with the uh, heating purpose. I mean heating, no issues with that. So that is the small thing I have seen. Otherwise, as you can see, the room is, I mean, it's very smooth and the, the opening, I mean, the applications are also opening very good as you can see. It's pretty smooth here in this uh, room. It's very, very nice. It's very smooth and lag free. There are no jitters and stutters as well. Let me just uh, show you. So we can just uh, choose the application pages which you have opened as well. So it's very good. Totally the evolution X is very fine. So let me just show you some of the other settings as well. So here uh, you can see the refresh rate. So there are only I mean there is only one option I guess uh, which is 60 heads I mean there is no auto switch option so you just need to select all the 3 to 60 and uh, it will be 60 heads in your um, evolution X row and also there is a lift to wake option pocket detection option and wake on black for example whenever you plug the any I mean any charger or e earphones it will just uh, the screen will wake up and that is a useful feature as well. So coming to the security, we can choose uh, the face unlock. So face unlock is working very, very fine. It's super responsive. And uh, I have also set up uh, the fingerprint in this. So as you can see, it's very responsive and it's very good actually. And there are the other options as well. So let me just show you the other options. Okay, so here the main option in the settings, so when you open the settings option, the main option is the evolver, so as you can see, so let me just click on themes, so there are different uh, options here, we can choose the accent color and axel, uh, accent color presets and also the dark, dark theme, so there are many uh, fonts, so as you can see there are many fonts which are pre-installed in this uh, uh, real max 7 max evolution x room and also these are some of the icon packs which are available so you can also install the icon pack from I mean through play store so there will be a good number of icon pack up applications in play store so as you can see there is another option called rounded corners so let me just do one thing I'll try to turn off the dark mode so I have just turned off uh, the dark mode so let me just open the evolver option again so themes and there is a special uh, option here which is a rounded corners so if you just uh, decrease this or increase you can see the change here so the, the rounded corners I think uh, you can able to see here so when you just uh, see here uh, you can also do this I mean both up and down so actually it's pretty good because I like this I mean the phone is looking good when you are uh, changing those options and also there are some of the switch toggle style G vis visual mode and some of the other applications so here these are the status bar application I mean status bar option so battery indicator so there are different number of options here in this room so it's very good but as I said before only one thing I face the issue is it's a little bit heating so there is a heating issue in this uh, evolution x rom in realme x1 max but before installing evolution x rom so make sure that i mean there is no issues with heating in your mobile phone and one more thing here is power menu option in the evolver option so when i just click on power menu you can see the advanced reboot option so it is the best option actually for example whenever you wanted to restart your system and click on advanced so it will just ask you to normal restart the bootloader to the recovery or system ui so it is the best option which i have seen in this uh, rom and there are some of the gestures as well so long press for top brightness control these are some of the gestures so these are the buttons I mean there are many options in the evolution X room so if you just install and see it will just take much time to figure out what are all the applications you are having and these are all the animations screen of animation and uh, disable transition animations so these are some of the animation styles so let me just click on uh, 
miscellaneous so you can also see the gaming mode here if you just enable the gaming mode so there will be a good performance and the gameplay will be nice when you just enable the gaming mode so here let me just open the lock screen option here so you can see the fingerprint error vibration so if you just enable this so whenever your fingerprint is not recognized it will just give you the vibration so it's on by default so that is the reason i have switched it off and there is also fingerprint authentication vibration so so whenever you just put on your finger on the fingerprint sensor it will just vibrate and this is the animated icon so here there is an option which is select fod icon animation effect so if you just select so right now it's on miui so let me just show you the difference so this is the miui it seems i mean the icon here so if i just change it to the one ui so let's see the change so as you can see it changed and it's a bit different and let me just uh, try to select the other one which is one ui2 and let me just power it on again and see so these are some of the changes and it's pretty good and also i'll just show you the last one yeah oxygen os is right now so one ui2 let me just show you the one ui2 yeah, this is the one UI too. So this is the other uh, icon style, I mean fingerprint icon. And also the best option I have seen in this is fingerprint icons, see? So these are all the different types of icons. You can select whatever you like and it's pretty dope. Seriously, it's very, very nice to see all these options. And fingerprint pressed color. So whenever you are pressing the fingerprint and uh, for example, I have chosen it to cyan. So if I choose green or yellow, it will just uh, show you like that. So as I have just selected yellow, so let's check. So when I just uh, click on, it's showing uh, yellow color. So let's click on white and let's see the difference. Yeah, so you can see the white color. So these are some of the applications. So uh, FOD on Doge. So uh, show fingerprint on display during ambient display and AOD this only hides the icon and will not disable functionality so this is the best option in this uh, evolution x ROM because I have seen some of the ROMs but I haven't seen these kind of options in other ROMs because there are multiple options here in this ROM so the main thing which I like is the fingerprint icon changes I mean it's changing the animation style the icon style it's very very good so that is the mo most important thing I have seen and by default the storage it took is around 7% so out of uh, 256 it took 7% usage so here you can see and by the way if you changed your custom rom if you if you change your rom in your realme x7 max device so there will be a huge difference in storage friends because this rooms will not be installed with other third party applications and that's the very good thing so as you can see there are there are only less applications i haven't installed any separate application except telegram and some of the other so even youtube also we just need to install from Play Store. So that's the major important thing and it, it, it improves your RAM management and also the storage that that's the main important point and also it's running on Android version 11 as you can see this is the Android version 11 it's running on Android version and the security update patch is off from October 2021 and the kernel you can see is 4.14 kernel it seems uh, these in, in this real I mean in this evolution X ROM so so far everything is good in the evolution X ROM the phone is getting heated much and the battery backup is also fine because as you cannot see many applications in this ROM the battery backup is very very fine and it's super smooth really I, I when I'm using this ROM it's super smooth and it's also giving good battery backup as I said before so just try to install the ROM so if at all if there is any confusion while installing or if, if at all if there is an issue just comment me in the comment section below so hope you like this video so if you like this video please share the video and subscribe to my channel would be appreciated thank you